Hello, welcome to Ernest Prattle edition 25. Yes, we've reached a bit of a mini milestone. It's the 25th edition of the vlog. And also we've got over 200 subscribers on YouTube. So a massive thank you to everybody for your continued support. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do. Uh, you can also like the video, share, leave a comment, any of those things, I'd be very much obliged. Now, going on to today's guest, I've got a, a fantastic guy, goes by the name of Scott Saunders, and we're going to speak to Scott all about his boxing and fitness class. So, without further ado, roll VT. Hello, Scott. Uh, how are you, brother? Welcome to the vlog. No, thank you for having me. I'm really good, thank you. Um, nice, bright Sunday morning. Why, why would we not be in a, in well, a good, healthy Well, it is uh, a nice, bright Sunday morning. I'm glad it's a little bit warmer. It is, it is. How are you, most importantly? I'm not too bad. I mean, like I said, I've, uh, I think I'm in the same boat as everybody else with regards to the, the hiking prices with the uh, gas and electricity. I've been having a, a go at uh, not putting the heating on so much. Well, last night I was freezing a bit. I had to get the old water bottle out and the blanket. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's the same for everybody at the moment, um, I suppose. So, uh, it's, it's a difficult world we're living um, at the minute. Yeah. I think we've just got to stay positive, stay focused on on our, ourselves and our loved ones. Um, yeah, that's well, about all we can do. Talk minute, about staying just... focused and positive, Scott. I mean, you're a great person to speak to then because. You're one of the most positive people I know, Scott. So I usually kick off by okay. just telling us a little bit about yourself, Scott. So you just give us a little bit about yourself and your background, Scott, if that's okay. Yeah, no problem. Well, um, I'm Scott Saunders. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm 41 years old. I'm a dad of three beautiful daughters. Um, I live in Bullwell, Nottingham. Um, recently, well, not recently, I've been here about... Oh, 17, 18 years now. Um, before that, I was from Cotman Aylkiston. Um, both places are literally exactly the same. Um, there's no difference. Um, again, I've had several jobs. I'm married. I've got a beautiful wife. Um, got a full-time job. Um, as you know, Paul, me and you have worked together in the past. Um, right, yes, that's right. Our day um, jobs. Yeah, um, and as it turns out, we're also slightly related through marriage. We are which... slightly related, Scott, as we yeah. found out. Yeah. Um, but uh, your uh, good lady friend is, is a warden. It is, yes. Um, it's through her father, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think something like, I don't know what the correct terminology is, but it's like you're like second or third cousins, I think, something second like that. Second or third cousin, yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, I moved to Bullwell 17, 18 years ago. Um, gave everything up to start a new life um, with my wife, Jen. Um, and, yeah, it's just gone from strength to strength. I've got a beautiful family. What's your um, daughter's name, Scott? Job. you want to give them a shout-out? My daughters. Um, yeah. They will kill me for shouting them out, but my oldest That's all right. That's to embarrass them. Yeah, definitely. My oldest one's Aliana. She's just turned 18. Yeah. Um, my, my middle one's Katie Faye. She's 14. 
Um, and my youngest one's Megan May. She's 11 years old. And what um, beautiful name is this girl? Well, I can't have any credit in that. I didn't get no say in them. The wife did the hard work, so she had the pick. <laughs> um, Megan's was a funny one. Um, we was on the way to the hospital and we were struggling for a name. Um, and we was behind, we was on the way, same to say, to City. Um, we was following a Renault Megan, and we was parked behind it at the traffic lights. As it pulled off, the E fell off the back of the Megan, and it said Megan, and we was like, it's meant to be. So that's you're Megan. That's fantastic, <laughs> yeah. to be fair. Yeah, uh, and she was also born on the same day as me, so uh, same birthday, which is lovely. Um, yeah, so so got a family in Bullwell. Um, they go to school, we all work. Um, I got a bit of a passion for boxing, um, so after my full-time job and at weekends, I like to do boxing fitness. So I got fully qualified last year. Um, I've had a passion for martial arts and boxing all my life. Um, and now I can pass, pass on what I've learned and, and help inspire and motivate and, and, and basically, yeah, to inspire and motivate people. Um, so this is what I want to really talk love. about, Scott, is the, your passion for, for boxing and, martial arts and, and definitely fitness because I mean talking about fitness I'm understanding that you you ran about five miles yesterday morning or something I did yes um I did I've not done a run for a long time um um the reason for that is, is several injuries I've had in the past I tried to stop the running because it's quite heavy on the legs um but I've got a customer um Daniel Smith um, who lives in Watnall now. Um, funny story, I, I actually went to school with him and his twin sisters were the same age as me. So right. we was in the same year in the school, Benley School in Ilkeston. Um, and this time last year, he started training with me. Got a call out of the blue, he's been training with me for a year. He does the one-to-ones with me. Um, and he said to me, if I, ever, if I ever do a 5K run, would you do it with me? I was like, yeah, no problem. He says, well, give me your details. So I sent my details across. Out of the blue, I got a... I got a text message saying, keep an eye on your emails. Um, it signed me up for a, a 5K inflatable run. Um, and I thought I was a bit reserved about it. I was like, 5K run, isn't that just bouncy castles? Um, <laughs> but I went, and it, there was 32 obstacles. Like that, the, the, you do laps, so there's about 16 obstacles. Um, well, what you have a to jump over like bouncy castles and things. Yeah, the, the, the good you've got like... They're, about, they're probably about 20, 30 foot long and you've got walls to jump over. You've got like loads of inflatable punch bags coming at you. You've got holes to jump through. So proper it's like test, an assault course. Proper test of stamina then, that is. Yeah, um, we, th th we did 5K and you know what? I was so proud of Dan. Um, he's come a long way in the last year and to push himself to do that, it, it was really difficult. We did two laps um, and it's not easy. He, I've woke up aching this morning. So um yeah, it, it, I'm really proud of him for doing that. So, yeah, we did that yesterday at Donington. If anybody wants to check it out, it's called the Inflatable 5K Run, but you can do 5K, 10K, 15K. Um, check it out on the internet. It's a good laugh. Go for it. It's a good family it does, thing. It does sound it. like a good laugh, as a matter of fact. I mean, I wish I was as fit, fit enough to do that sort of thing. I mean, you never know. I've, I mean, I've been a poorly person the last couple of years, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to fitness, I'm the complete opposite to you. I'm about... I'm about fit to drop my fit, but uh, it's it's something that you can aspire to do long term, I suppose. Um, it's but, you know talking it's about, about setting goals, Paul. Well, exactly, one step at a time. Um, but in relation to what you do in your spare time now, which is the Scott Saunders boxing and fitness, do you want to tell us a little bit about that, Scott? How you got started and and maybe how we can get involved, etc. Yeah, of course. Um, it'd be nice, actually. Um, so, same say, all my life, I've always been in, had a big interest in martial arts. Um, from a young age, um, I was fortunate enough to have a best friend whose dad um, it was a, a kung fu instructor, um, Charlie Fort, um, was the actual style that we did at the time. Um, his name's Steve Bruff. Big shout out to Steve Bruff. Um, trained me for about 15 years and um, he is the English version of Bruce Lee I'll put that out there okay. um, um, a, a absolute beautiful man inside and out um, he trained me for about 15 years never took a penny off me um, always in his in his spare time um, I, I really enjoyed it I really had a passion for it and then obviously you hit your, your 20s and um, and I went off the rails a little bit I'm not I found the pub yeah 
Yeah, find a pub, find yeah. a kebab shop, find ladies. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, um, I went off the rails a little bit. Then, obviously, I said I met my wife, settled down again. Um, and I, I sort of got back into the boxing side. I, I ended up falling into, as a family, we decided to go to what was Bullwell Fight Factory in the old town hall in Bullwell. Yeah, Unfortunately, it's not there now. It's not there now. Um what a great community place that was. The guy that run it, Keg, um, welcomed, welcomed us in, open arms, um, trained us as a family, which we wanted to do individually. And it was a little bit of kickboxing, little boxing, a little bit of fitness, just fun, a good, fun environment, but active. Um, so we got into that. Unfortunately, that closed. Um, and from that, I met my um, boxing coach, Danny Brooks. Um, fabulous guy again. Um, he trained me and from there, when Ball Fight Factory closed, he was he was one of the head coaches there, along with Phil Swanick, um, who went on to do some fantastic, create some fantastic fighters um, from Ball. Um, but with Danny, we ended up creating, um, we didn't have a place to fight. We didn't have a, I, I didn't fight personally, I'll put that out there, I'll get back to that one. Um, but we didn't have a place to train or anything. So we created... Um, a club between us. Um, I, I was just studying at the time with him. Um, called um, Parkside Boxing. Um, we didn't have any way. We called it Parkside because we trained on Nelson Park in Bullwell. Okay. Um, so it was nice. We got a good, a good upcoming there, and then we moved on to um, Snakewood Community Centre. So for about six months, we um, we was training in Snakewood Community Centre. We was getting a, a, a good turnout. I was getting between eight and ten in, in the little hall there. Um, and it kept us active, kept us good. I owe Danny everything to get him my, my passion for boxing. Um, he taught me how to box. He, he gave me the love for the for the sport. Um, and then, unfortunately, um, Danny got offered a job which he could not turn down, um, and, and it all ended. Um, so I went. I sort of went without a club for a while, um, and then I started training at Cinder Hill Fight Factory at Cinder Hill Gym. Everybody knows Cyril's gym. Yeah. Um, in Cinder Hill. Um, and that's where... I used, I used to go there back in the day when I used to play American football. I used to go to yeah. Joe's gym, yeah. I've actually seen some pictures of you in American football. You're quite a hench guy, weren't you? I was back in the day, yeah, when I could uh, when I could run properly. And, yeah. We can get we can get you back there, Paul. We'll but get back I, there, I, bumped, yeah, that's right, I bumped it. Stay positive. We'll get there, mate. Um, but I bumped into uh, the, the head coach, uh, Phil Swanick, and I ended up doing a few classes there, met some nice people. Um, my commitment wasn't as good as it should have been due to work and young kids. Um, so I wasn't there for every session, but with the sessions I had, I loved it. Really got the buzz. Um, and then obviously COVID it. COVID it is all. I was down in the dumps. I was depressed. I was feeling low, couldn't go out. Um, and I, I was searching the web. What can I do? What can I do? Um, and I come across um, Ricky Hatton's Academy. Ricky Hatton... Um, Two-time world champion from Manchester. Yeah. Everybody remembers the <coughs> good match with Ricky Ashton. And um, so he does a, a, a on like well, he he heads uses his name and branding for um, Ricky Atten Boxing Academy. And I signed up to his online course, and I thought, what what more can you do in lockdown? We was only doing part-time days at work because we couldn't go into the office. So in my spare time, I was training up to be a boxing fitness coach. Um, one of the best things I've ever done. I was, by this time, I would got well out of weight. I was 18 and a half, 19 stone, because bear in mind, I'd gone from like 14, 15 stone, um, from being really active to not active. Um, I'd put the weight on, so I found it really difficult. I put a punch bag on the backyard. You know, all the things I'm trying to do to motivate myself, putting the Rocky classics on in the background, getting that <laughs> inspirational music going. Um, and I was just building myself back up, and I ended up passing my qualification, um, which was fantastic. And that enabled me to then move on to get proper insurance, um, doing my safeguarding. Um, and, and it just rolled on and rolled on. Um, and out of the blue, just out of the blue. And I did this for myself. I didn't have any desire to go on coaching people or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And out of the blue, um, the local councillor, Jane Lakey, knocked on my door. She was doing some rounds, asking what the community is missing. Um, so I told her previously about the parkside boxing that closed because Danny had to start work and she took my notes and my name and my number and everything and we told her that it's missing like physical activities in the area for, for yeah. kids for adults um 
as soon as we were come out of our first lockdown and I got a call from her um, and she offered me some funding um, linking up with Public Health England um, and so she offered me some funding with the local community centre, Snapewood Community Centre, so um, we get subsidised help. I'm not sure how much longer this is going to go on for, but what I can say is we get subsidised help on a Friday. So I do an adults class and a child's class. Um, so child's class is 5.45 to 6.45. Yeah. Um, and that is only £2. Thank you. Thanks to Jane Lakey getting some That's help. That's very, very so reasonable. So we can subsidise it. Um, same so I don't do it for the money. Um, what money I do make, I have to put on equipment and just cover costs of travel and things yeah. like that. Um, and the adults class is four pound um, on a Friday night, um, and that is seven till eight. That's but all at Snapewood Community Centre. Um, class has started off booming. Um, we've got so many kids off the street. Um, I don't want to speak ill of any of the families or anything, but you could tell they were under some of them. Were, some of them, um, it was they, they, it's what what they had, it's what they lived for that Friday, if that makes sense. Um, even kids that parents that no, were wealthy, they were bringing their kids. Um, and it gave them something. It gave them a bit of something to do on a Friday. Um, it still does. Classes were booming to start off with. We was getting 30 kids every Friday. Wow. Um, and obviously, it's never going to stop at that level. No. Um, a big shout out to um, a couple of people that come and help me, actually, um, during my kids' class. So my coach, Danny, he brought his daughter. Um, okay. Danny Brooks is, is actually a really good friend. Um, he's he's um, a qualified amateur coach. Um um, Matthew Saxon, uh, I think you know Matthew Saxon from our old working days. Um, yes, you probably do. Max, Max comes every week. He joins in on the adults class and turns up early and helps me with the kids class, which is fantastic. Another qualified England amateur boxing coach. He has his own gym in, Ged in Carlton. Um, and um, ex-British champion. Um, um, oh, dear me. Shane McPhilbin. I don't know how I forgot his name. Yep. Shane, uh, ex-British champion. Shane Shane McPhilbin, proper bull wall lad. Yep. Um, he also brought his daughter, and he, when it was really busy, he gave us a hand as well. So it was amazing to have this knowledge in this room. Um, it also helped inspire, helped me as well. And these kids were loving it. Everybody was doing pad work, bits of fitness. Um, and same to say, for two quid, like, it, what can you, what more can you give your kids <clears> on a Friday night? And um, you know, uh, just to say, Scott, just for like uh, boxing exercise, Luddites like myself who doesn't know a lot, it's not necessarily uh, physical contact, is it? It's more about exercise and getting yourself fit into it, Scott, just to, just to clarify. 100%. 100%. Um, the classes that I do, there's no contact at all, uh, unless you forget to duck, um, then it yeah. might click the outside of the head. Um, yeah. But um, there's no, there's no um, contact at all. I don't want to get into the game of, of training fighters and, and going down that line. Um, at, at what My ambition is to um motivate inspire people um i was suffering with depression at the time it's helped bring me out of that i'm in a fabulous place in my head now and i believe it's down to the love and care from my family and this physical and mental exercise i'm doing and um, you know what Scott? it's such a it's such a, a fantastic thing that the as bad as the, the covid scenario was and you know like myself personally locked in the house for two years the things that have come out of it have been inspirational some things I mean, like I started doing this vlog because I was locked in the house and this has got me to speak to lots of interesting people from all walks of life and such as yourself, Scott, you use the negative and turned it into a real positive there, mate, not just to I'm... inspire yourself, but other people at the same time. So you've, I've got a lot of respect for you, mate. And I, I really do, you know, love what you've done to be fair. I mean, thank you. Like I say, person, I wish I was fit enough to do it, but you know, who knows in a couple of years' time, mate, I might be, I mean, you know, one step at a time, Scott. You don't need a couple of years, Paul. No. We could, do, we, could come in, we could do something tomorrow. It doesn't have to be heavy. Nice, light work, get you going, get you feeling good. Because once you've done, it doesn't matter whether you do 10 minutes or an hour, at the end of that 10 minutes, depending on fitness levels, you'll feel like you've done a little bit of a workout. Your endorphins will be flowing. You'll be happy. Yeah. You'll be... You'll be buzzing after that session. Um, and that's what it's about for me, just getting people feeling good about themselves. Um, it's not necessarily... Like, a lot, of, a lot of my customers do one hour a week. And I'll tell them, that one hour won't change your life, but it will change the way you feel, the way you do things. So from that one hour, 
you take that focus that you've had in that one hour and you put that into the rest of your week you put that into your diet your motivation so, yeah for example little things um like don't go in a lift take some stairs like yeah. add to what you're doing in that hour don't use yeah. a shopping trolley use a basket um if you drive park at the opposite end of the car park and walk a yeah. bit further just little things like that um so that's what i try to get it get through to people um and um, drink water rather than pop like i know i'm drinking i'm drinking flat water it's still water but um try and drink two liters of water a day. just little things to add to it and i'm not preaching to anybody but just do something that you enjoy like you do this podcast and again i took my hat off to you i've been watching your journey and you've gone from four or five followers to over 200 followers now which is amazing it took you to scotland um, yeah you met new friends up there yeah um so so it's everybody's done something same as you say from covid that's inspiring people and it's it's made people believe in themselves again i believe i think i think it's brought people to close together which is fantastic yeah absolutely and uh me you say you're a i mean you're a you're a big boxing fan as well then scott love it so absolutely uh, love it well it is the, the, the question for you then is uh tyson fury or anthony joshua as a as a man there is no more perfect specimen than Anthony Joshua. Yes. But as a boxer, Tyson Fury is incredible. Um, the way he moves, the way he thinks, the way he plays mind games, um, his background, what he's brought himself from, where he is now. is still not in a fabulous place, I don't believe. I still think he fights a lot of demons, but he's doing something he loves to fight them demons. Um, and I think... Out of both of them, um, I, I don't think you can. I, I don't think you can say Anthony Joshua is the best out of the two. Tyson Fury, by far, is the best heavyweight I've ever seen. I I, I tend to agree with you, to be fair. And you, and you look at him, and he doesn't look like a perfect physical specimen, does he? No. He sometimes he carries a bit of weight around his, you know, his midsection, but the way he boxes, he's a very clever man, isn't he? Bless him is honestly is is inspirational um it genuinely is inspirational uh, i'm not too sure about him bringing an energy drink out because they're not the healthiest but um, no. <laughs> he's got to earn a few quid um but you know what i think he's had a positive effect on everybody um and to say that he's got the following he has to, to, considering his all his fights have been in america um I, I don't i think he's got the biggest following following in the world i believe yeah, yeah he's, uh, uh, he's, he's done really well. And, um, you know, in relation to your own personal aspirations with the boxer size, Scott, what 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 are your ambitions with it going, you know, in into the future? Into the future. So currently, I I don't, in, during winter, I've not done a massive amount. I've been like, I've been spending some time with family. So um, I want, my aspirations is to have a little gym. Have a little gym. Yeah. Like a little unit somewhere. Um, a ring in a couple of bikes um where i can do four or five sessions a week and um, keep me ticking over because that's my fitness as well when i'm training people i don't just stand watching i'm actually doing it with them so do that have that space have a space for other personal trainers other other yoga teachers to come and they can hire the space they can they can use that space for the local community um some, that that is probably that well that is 100 my dream um i'd love something like that whether it be full-time or still part-time with my work commitments um but yeah that is that is the dream um definitely and do you i mean do you have a website or is it just the facebook at the moment yeah it's just facebook and instagram so um scott saunders boxing fitness um that logo there is the main picture on the facebook and instagram so you can't go wrong not not seeing it um nice logo scott I, Thank you. It's uh, as good as the Ernest Battle logo that I, I've got done, basically. Well, there you go. To be honest, Paul, I think that's going to take some beating. Um, <laughs> I think that's going to take some beating. I do like it. Um, Thank you. I did. I, I designed that one myself, though. Um, no, that's that's an brilliant, touch, and I like the bull on it as well. Ah, well, that, that everyone says to me, well, what's a bull got to do with anything? It's nothing to do with boxing. And bull, that bull there's well. a little story. Yeah, exactly. Bullwell. I started boxing at Bullwell Fight Factory. Their logo was a bull on the back of the T-shirt, so I incorporated it into into the logo. Um, but yeah, it's 
It's the dream. Um, currently, I do a few one-to-ones a week on a Monday and a Tuesday, and I've got my classes on a Friday. Um, but during summer, that that's going to open up again. Um, I love working out on parks with people early in the morning before I start work, late at night. So the one-to-ones are opening up. I'm looking at doing a boot camp May time when it's a bit hotter. Um, so, so yeah, a boxing boot camp. Um, so things are looking good. Um, but I've got to stay positive and realistic because uh, I've got a full-time job as well. So correct. So you 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 you're you very grounded, but you've got your ambitions at the same time. Nothing wrong with that, Scott. Yeah. You've got to you've got to pay the bills at the end of the day, mate. But uh, you you I mean, it's nice to know that you you seem to be balancing the two at the moment, uh, which is difficult sometimes. I bet you're a very busy man. But in relation to uh, promoting what you do, Scott. I mean, I've got a a website, earnestpackle.com, and I do do showcases on there for individuals. So if ever you want to expand and showcase what you're doing, I'm happy to give you some space on there as well. That's much appreciated, Paul. Thank you. That for you as well, Scott. And I will, uh, if you send me the uh, links to the Instagram, I will share the Instagram and Facebook pages on the comments for you and at the end of the video for you as well, Scott. And likewise, I'll do the same for you as well. Um, Thank we've got you, to support brother. each other. We're both local people. Absolutely, um, that's right. Well, family, family, Scott. Exactly. Look exactly. after his own. And talking of family, Scott, as is customary, when I usually finish my vlogs, I ask my guests if they'd say hello to my mum, whose uh, her name's Anne. So would you send a message to my mum for me, please, Scott? Of course I can. Um, hello, Anne. Lovely to lovely to speak. You've got a beautiful son here, Paul, and I've met your other son as well. I believe it's Stephen. Right. Uh, um, what a great family you've raised. Um, fine to fine men. Um, so again, the off offers uh, open to you if you ever want to come and just do a little bit of pad work. There's no age limit on it. There's nothing. Just a bit of fun. Um, it'd be lovely to meet you in person. Um, but yeah, hi, Anne, and uh, you share a good name. My my late mother. Um, who passed away a couple of years ago, bless her. Her name was Antu, um, fine woman. Fantastic, Scott. Thank you very much. And uh, so just to wrap up, Scott, thank you very much for talking to us this morning. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, best of luck with the project going to the future. Paul, it's been an absolute honour and pleasure coming on uh, coming on your podcast. Um, I wish you all the success and thank you for your kind words. Um, but please take me up on the offer. Let's get, let's get together for half an hour and do a little bit. Absolutely. You might like it. You Cheers, will like brother. it. Peace out, Paul. Thank you very much. Peace out. Much love to everybody. You're right. Keep going! Don't stop!